Hello and welcome in this uh, new video. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about the shortest distance between two points. So how do you calculate the distance between um, two given points? In the previous video, we looked at how to calculate the distance between two points along the latitudes and along the longitudes. So now, how about if you have been asked a question to find the shortest possible way between two points. For example, let's look at the diagram here. We have point A and point B, okay? We have point A and point B, and they are all lying on the same latitude, which is uh, 45 degrees north. Point A is lying on longitude 80 degrees west, and point B is lying on 100 degrees east. Now, suppose we were asked to find the, uh, the possible shortest distance between point A and point B. How can we find the shortest possible way between the two points? This is what we're going to, to focus on. So, we know that we can calculate the distance between A and B using the concept of latitudes, meaning the distance along the circles of latitudes, or we could use distance along the circles of longitudes. So we are going to apply the two, meaning that the same formulas for calculating the distance between two points along latitudes and between two points along uh, longitude will still remain the same. So, how can we calculate the shortest distance? Okay, let's look at this. Let's calculate the distance between A and B along the, um, along the North Pole, meaning from B would move like that, then like that. So this tells us that we are going along the longitude okay along the longitude okay so meaning that we are simply going to say we have let's assume we say that our angular difference okay our angular difference let's say it has been given as a 90 degrees okay let's say we've been given our angular difference as 90 degrees so how can we calculate along the North Pole? Uh, along the North Pole, okay. So let's look at this. Um, let's calculate the distance along the, the North Pole. So we're going to say the arc A and B, meaning we are actually moving from A through N to B. That's how we are moving in that particular direction like that. So, don't forget the angular difference is 90 degrees, that is our x, okay? I'm just assuming that we've been given that angle as 90 degrees, this angle here. This angle here as 90 degrees. So, we're going to say the arc AB is equal to x degrees, okay? x degree over 3 skisti times 2 times the given pi times the radius of the earth. So let's see, do the calculation. Let's take let's take pi let's take pi as 3.5 okay given that it's pi equal to three point point one four two and radius of earth is in kilometers <coughs> meaning six thousand three hundred and seventy kilometers let's let's take pi as three point one four two and radius of the earth as as in kilometers as six thousand three hundred seventy kilometers let's look at how we can solve this problem <clears throat> excuse me so we are simply going to say arc a and b 
is equal to is equal to x degree over 360 degrees times 2 times pi times radius of the earth. So, the angular difference, remember, is 90 degrees over 360, okay, time is 2 times pi 3.142. Time is radius of the earth being uh, 6,370 kilometers. I'll just bring it down there. Okay, so let's punch that on the calculator. So if we punch that on a calculator, we are actually going to say this one here, this fraction here, is going to be 1 over 4. Okay, I've simplified that. Okay, time is, so 2 times is 3.142, we're going to get, time is, we're going to get 6.284. Time is, the distance, the radius of the earth is 6,370 kilometers. So many we're going to have one time is that uh, 6.284 times that is going to be 6.284 times 6,370 kilometers over 4. <clears throat> so if we punch that on a calculator, 6.284 times 6,370 divided by 4, what are we going to have? We are going to have 10,007. Okay? Point 0.27 kilometers. That is what we are going to have. Take note of that because we will need to compare with the, the next one. Okay. Let's look at how we can calculate along the latitude 45 degrees. Just by taking you back, if we are looking at this diagram here, and we, had, we want to calculate the distance along the latitude 45 degrees, meaning now we are calculating the distance from A to B in that particular direction. We are no longer using the North Pole. That means the angular difference will now come from what? Eh? Will now come from uh, will now come from the latitudes, I mean the longitudes, 100 degrees and 80 degrees. So let's do the addition because they're heading in different direction. Okay? We are going to say, we are going to say, let's go back to the solvings, we are going to say 80 plus 100 degrees. We have 180 degrees as our angular difference is 180. So the formula is x. The formula for calculating um, the distance along the latitude is x degree over 360 degrees 2 pi then we have R cos x degrees. Remember, remember that the x here is the angular difference, is the angle, okay? And the x here is the latitude. Latitude, okay? Let's write that one is the latitude, okay? Latitude. So, let's do the solving. Okay, we are going to say our angle there is 180. 180, maybe I write the formula so that you see as we are replacing. We have x over 360 
2 pi r cos x degrees x degrees so we are replacing now we are going to say 180 over 360 time is 2 time is pi 3.142 time is the radius of the earth in kilometer as 6370 time is cos the latitude is 45 degrees. Is 45 degrees. Let's do the punching on the calculator. Okay? So if you punch one, or you can say, let's simplify. Let's simplify this fraction. That is going to be 1 over 2 multiplied by multiplied by 2 time is 3.142 which is 6 point 6 point 284 time is time is 6370 I'll bring it down here time is cos x degrees the x is what now? The x is the 45 degrees. So one time is all that. We are going to say it's actually 6 point, let me bring, 6 point 284 time is 6,370 time is cos 45 degrees. Everything divided by 2. So we are simply going to do an addition there. Let me rub this part. We are going to do an addition. Uh, sorry, a multiplication. And then we see what we can get. Okay. So 6.284 6 times 6370 6, time is cos 45 divided by 2 that is giving me on my calculator it's giving me 14,143.41 kilometers remember the previous one we found was was 10,007 Point two seven kilometers. Now between the two, which one seems to be the shortest distance? So we can see that the shortest possible distance is ten thousand and seven point two seven kilometers. The fourteen thousand is greater. It's a bigger number than the one we have in yellow here in a second yellow so what does this tell us it tells us that when you are calculating the distance along when you are calculating the shortest distance between two points the shortest distance will come if you calculate along okay if you calculate along Longitudes. Longitude. If you calculate along the longitude, you will find the shortest distance. And this should, however, be through should be through the North Pole. The North Pole. And then that will give us the shortest possible distance. Thank you for watching and try to attempt the questions in the past papers. 
And uh, if you have any challenge, feel free to ask. I will come and attend to the questions as soon as possible. Uh, thank you for watching.